media. All right, Todd, you said something very interesting to me the other day. I want to start here because you said to me, there's a lot of grow the game initiatives, but there's not a lot of bring back the game initiatives. And I want to start there because, you know, when, you have, when you've come on our show before, we always talk about, we talk about a lot of the things, but people know you as a trick shot artist. You were voted number one trick shot artist in North America by Golf Channel. That was for 2014. You do a lot of corporate events. I see you hanging out with Joe Carter's tournament, all these like great celebrities and whatnot. But you said to me the other day, to bring back the dish, why not bring golf back to people that had golf as part of their life before and it's no longer there? And I said to you, wow, how come we haven't thought about that as an industry? Because in my mind, from a sales guy standpoint, which has always been my background in golf, was always in the sales world, it's always easier to do business with the people you've done business with before. And in my mind, that's what part of your initiative is all about. This is people that thought golf left their life, and you're reintroducing it. Now, for our listening audience who has no idea what I'm talking about, give them a little bit about the background of, of who the people we're talking about and how you're trying to bring golf back to their life. Well, you know what? I am blessed with the ability to hit a golf ball in pretty unique ways. You know, um, With the trick shots, I'm able to hit balls blindfolded, uh, off my knees, Flash it on the left side, flash it on the right side, out of wheelchairs. I even had a prosthetic leg developed for myself. So what I'm doing is I'm taking people that might not have ever thought they could ever play the game of golf again. And I get it. You know, I say, granted, you can't play the game of golf the way that you used to, but we're going to figure out a way to get you back onto the golf course. And it's pretty cool. And, and, and working with some great individuals, doing a lot of stuff with the military. You know, people have been that have been disabled, uh, doing a lot of stuff with Easter Seals, doing a lot of stuff with stroke patients. And... They were already in the game, and now what we're doing is just bringing it back. Right. So they assumed that whether it was a stroke or an injury or whatever it is, through whether it was through the wounded warriors, whatever it is, they assumed that golf was just, okay, that's not a part of my life anymore. It's done. It's done. And you're showing them that that's not the case. And it's just through example. It's not even really teaching them, but it's just changing the mindset. When they see me hitting a ball out of a wheelchair, right. they're going, I can do that. And it's changing the mindset of, of, you know what, let's forget about the rules of golf. Let's worry about the etiquette rules, but let's just go out and play golf and have fun with your friends. Right, and you got to think, how many people, and this is something like, you know, I would never think of, sit back myself and I go, you know, how many people have we lost to the game? Because we're always looking to grow the game. We never look back, how many people have we lost, and why have we lost them? And we lost, uh, we lose people every year in the game of golf for multiple reasons. Some people, it's affordability, they just decide they'd rather do something else with their time, it's too, whatever it is. But, but this must be a much larger percent, I bet, of that audience than what we initially give it credit. It is huge. You know, there's people out there that, uh, you know, that just don't think they can ever play the game of golf. And, and, it, and it's going everywhere from, from women even. You know, there's a lot of women that have been intimidated on the golf course. Every, every corporate event that I do, the volunteers out there, 90% of them are women that want to help the cause but don't want to play the game of golf. Then I do my show. And they come up to me and go, you make me want to play the game of golf yeah. again because that was fun. Where they've been intimidated on the golf course or they had a bad experience, it, it's, it's, it's such a broad spectrum. It's not just handicap, it's not just disabled, it's not just you know PTSDs. It's a broad spectrum that we've lost in this game of golf. And you know what, through, through fun, we're going to bring it back. Right. And you know something else that you do uh, a great job of is bringing it to kids that normally wouldn't be introduced to the game. Right? I know you do some stuff in schools. And the thing I love that you do in schools is that you take golf and relate it to athletics and sports that they're already accustomed to. Because golf, to you go to you know you go to like an inner city kid somewhere in whether it's the U.S. or Canada or whatever, and you, and you initially drop the word golf, it's like a foreign plant to them, right? That's right. But when you relate it to something they're already doing, and and the science or the math of the actual activity, all of a sudden the light bulb goes on and they realize, hold on, I'm doing all these things in all the other sports I play. Uh, and, well, do me elaborate on that because the story of, of teaching tra trajectory against the wall and things like that and get kids excited about golf, I think that's a really cool way of introducing them. Well, I had the privilege of, I Friday's round at the Canadian Open this year, I ended up bringing a bunch of inner city school kids um, from a tough area in Toronto, the Jane and Finch area, to the Canadian Open. Very cool. These guys have never been on a golf course yeah. before, and and I was kind of a little bit worried about how we we're going to be, but we kind of went through the protocol and the etiquette. They had a great time. Then I ended up going back to the classroom uh, a week later, and started explaining to them what they were seeing. You know how each golf club is a different length; it's a different loft. 
trajectory, launch angle, club head velocity, but related it in a fun, unique way and relating it to other sports that they can relate to. And honestly, I had the meeting out of the palm of my hand for an hour and a half. And these are kids that never, ever, ever, other than Tiger Woods and playing it on their video games, right. ever played the game of golf. Right. And even that might have been a stretch for, for some. Right? Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. What do you, of all those things, what's the most, you know, in terms of the biggest challenge, other than the first breakthrough, what do you think it is for these kids to, to maybe say, you know what, I want to go out there and actually try this now, or I want to, because we, you know, it's so hard, especially in the city of Toronto. I think a lot of parts of the rest of the country get it. I think it's so, golf is so expensive and so hard to access sometimes in the city of Toronto compared to the rest of the country. I know, like the rest of the country, like our friends at Golf PI, yeah. for instance, I'll give a perfect example. You know, uh, they were a sponsor of our show. I just got back from out there, and it is such a different attitude towards, uh, you know, the game and towards, you know. Uh, accessibility, and I just look at it and I'm like, the value, the bang for your buck, I don't know if there's a better place on the continent than, than, than Prince Edward Island, and they just get it. And I'm wondering, you know, in Toronto, for the kids that you're referring to, you know, it, that's got to be a hard thing for them. Where do they go if they want to pick up this club and go do this? They can't. Really, they can't. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to change the mindset of, of, the, of the schools, of the, of the teachers that are doing the program. Let's take it to the um, football field. Let's take it to the soccer field. Doesn't have to and be play on a, a non-traditional right. golf course. But let's right. get them swinging the golf club and hitting a hitting a, a maybe a foam golf ball or maybe a wiffle ball, just to try and give them the opportunity because there's so much opportunity out on a golf course that they never been exposed to. But so it's going to take a while to get them to that stage. Absolutely. Yeah. But the thing about it is, let's try and turn them on to the game of golf, and maybe it's in a non-traditional way, thinking outside of the box. Because right now we are doing the definition of insanity. Yeah, yeah. We really are. Right. Do the same thing over and over again. Exactly. I'm wondering why none of these new faces are coming. To the game. Absolutely. Uh, on the other side, we're going to get into a little golf talk with you because I know you, you, you and I were talking a little FedEx Cup. You were looking at my rant earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right in the middle of oh, I caught it. I caught it. You face caught on. It. That's right. Uh, but before we do that, where, where's your next event coming up? So I know you're all over the place. So usually we talk in the winter yeah. on the show. You got you call in from you're somewhere in Florida. Or you're somewhere. What's your next? Uh, My next big event. I'm actually this Wednesday. I'm at CFB Trenton Air Force Base. I spent last weekend there working with a lot of the guys, and we're actually doing a Wounded Warrior event at CFB Trenton on Wednesday. So right. It's so be that's this Wednesday. Really cool. Yeah. And uh, Golf with Attitude. It's uh, gwagolf.com. Gwagolf.com. Golf with Attitude. If you want to find out even more about what Todd's uh, doing and what he's all about, there's some great stuff. There's some great videos. YouTube. Uh, his stuff, and uh, it's it's very cool. Always a fun watch. But we're going to stay with Todd next. He's not going anywhere, but we're going to jump into a little Barclays uh, talk with Todd, a little playoff format uh, stuff as well. You are listening to Golf Talk Game.